All right, skipping ahead, chapter 20, on the job training report, the interview statement, the witness, digital files. Chapter 20, report of the interview statement, the witness, digital files, overview of the section regarding the evidence, such as the FRA report of the interview, the FRA statement of the witness, shall be considered for the amendment of the guidance for the round, and the FRA's general manual, general technical bulletins, other guidance and documents, operational practice inspected, often rely upon statements from employees, witnesses, passengers, as basis for the enforcement actions of the disciplinary, are able to prove the elements for the violation, direct observation, first hand knowledge, it's always preferable to the statement of the witness, rather than the report of the interview, the documentation of the violation, the records are sufficient to prove the violation that is permissible to use the report of the interview in lieu of the statement of the witness and ancillary data to explain the circumstances historically that has been the case of the violation report citing the violation of the hours of the service law where the required hours of the duty of record of the prepared with in complete detail with all entries and correct the if they're incorrect entries that if the entry do conflict the facts of the violation then the statement of the word witness or report of the interview which must be used in the in the reason that the record is incorrect interviewing the process of communicating with at least one of them person with, for the purpose of securing information interviewing requires that the inspector to be a good listener. Inspector should be planning with the question that they're going to ask rather than during the interview, but avoid the, reading them directly from their notes. Free, feel free to expand the beyond the question that you have prepared. Inspector should also prepare the interview the familiarization themselves with any of the files documented involved. First-hand knowledge and guidance of the first-hand knowledge and is knowledgeable of something the inspector personally witnessed. If an inspector does not have the first-hand knowledge of the element of the violation, the element must be supported with someone else's first-hand knowledge knowledge contained with the other evidence reported of the interview statement of the witness other supporting documentation documentation or reports of the interview inspectors should not summarize the information regarding an event that they do not have first-hand knowledge about with the handle of the report of the interview with the statement of the witness report of the interview may be used only and if and the it can sta contain the statement of the railroad manager of the statement contained with the report of the interview with sustained by the additional evidence Clearly, the report of the interview is validated in accordance with the FRA policy. Validation of the report of the interview, public law set specifically for Title 49 U.S. Standard Code 2109, prohibits the FRA from disclosing the identity of the employee of the railroad who has reported its railroad safety with security violation, including a violation of hazard material laws regulation order without written consent with the employee. Consequently, when a report of the interview is used, the inspector must ensure that the inspection report violation report and any attachments, including the report of the interview, do not contain the language that provided with the confidentiality to the FRA. Inspector should validate it. If the person to interview agrees with the information with the report interview may be provided to the public, including the railroad effect, this cannot be this can be done by the asking the person interviewed by the validated occur accuracy in the report of the interview, documentation of the validation, providing the time of the date of the interview, the full name, title, and the mailing address of the person who was interviewed. The situation where the employees refuse to validate the report of the interview should be discussed with the FRA regional managers of the other methods can be explored that will be validated with the report of the interview and other in order to protect the identify identity of the person provided with the FRA sensitive information. Information is common for the report. The interview will be removed from any of the report unless it has been validated in accordance with the FRA policy checklist for the report of interview. Advise the person that the interview is voluntary. Advise the person that the report of the interview will be attached to the public report, perhaps submitted with the railroad company. Request that the person interview validate the per report prior to the submission. Provide the time and date, the full name, title, and the mailing address of the person who validated the information over the report of the interview. For example, the report interview name, the address, city, phone, and optional occupation, date of the interview, place of the interview, other presence, and interviewed by. All right. Um, Mr. Johnny has an interview on Friday, March 30th, 2009, in the Nebraska Yard Office. The purpose of the interview was an association of Mr. Johnny's first-hand knowledge of the conditions of board with the train 8810 on March 8, 2009. At the time of the incident, under the investigation, of Mr. Johnny was working with the conductor of the Nebraska train to 810 when the 8010 with the Majani began with his railroad career in 1978 as a bridge and building employee of the Nebraska. The 991 has transferred to the train service and was promoted to the conductor in 1999. Mr. Johnny stated that he was late working for the regular assignment on March 8, 2009. He said that um, just about the departing Lincoln, he was informed that the train 808 had been canceled and the crew form from the train would be joining his crew at 199th Street Landing Park Station. Mr. Johnny said that the additional train of the 8008 crews, there was five train services and plays aboard with the train 810. He assigned the crew members throughout the all train and all in an effort to close the monitor the load of the passengers. Um, Mr. Johnny signed that the train filled up the contacted trans ma train master Turner Grill, Turner Gill, and informed his or uh, heavy passenger volume. Mr. Johnny should, said he was uh, was told that the train master Gill to be to invest in the kid he could to accommodate the passengers when the train departed with the Ravana station. Mr. Johnny said that the first two coaches were standing room in room only. Um, 
He said people were standing close together, but they were not packed in like sardines. Mr. Johnny said during the 8-10, strip, he or the, he and other crew members informed the encouraged passengers to wait for the next train. He said that the few passengers set up the train, however, the passenger continued with the board at every station. Mr. Johnny said by this time they reached the now, now brood station. He was able to, unable to walk through the passenger cars. At this point, the instructed the other crew members to close the train doors individually to avoid catching um, someone in the door at the clo as it closed. Uh, Mr. Zarani so he counted the number of the passengers when the train arrived at the Lions Union Station. He, can, he said he could not remember the exact number, but he thought they were between 1,000 and 2,000 passengers. He said about six to eight people commanded, commanded, commented to him with um, through the train was overcrowded and they felt it was, sa it was a safety hazard. Mr. Zarani said he was not aware of the, any of the railroad, railroad company safety rules, standard operating procedure, written instruction that provide guidance for the train crews when an opera overcrowding situation occurs. Mr. Jennings was informed of the contents of the report of 1104 and the insertion date by reading the report of the interview to him. Mr. Jennings agreed to its contents. Mr. Jennings contact information, Universal Railroad, 123 Fort Main Street, blah, 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 blah. Report to inventory uh, in interview. How many more are these? Are these? All right, 372. Example report of the interview. Um, Mr. Jennings was interviewed on Thursday, March 2000, March 29, 2009, with the dog yard for the purpose of the interview the association. The month. Mr. Jennings first hand knowledge of the alleged exceeding for the hours of the service will send them to the train. 810 with March 8, 2009, at the time of the incident, Mr. Jennings was working as the conductor of the Nebraska train. 810 when Mr. Jennings began his railroad career in 1978, the brigade with the building of the plate in Nebraska. In 1991, he was trained for the train service to promote the conductor. Mr. Jennings stated that he was working the regular assignment of the March 8, 2009. He stated they were just stopped with the train for Lincoln. He was informed that the dispatch for the train 808 had proceeded with the process past the train and his crew should exceed the hours of the service to proceed off the main track into the siding post mile post of 56 to allow the train 808 to proceed mr Zarani said the proceeding to exceeding the hours of the service of 45 minutes moving his then train into siding securing it is instructed by the dispatcher eric crotch um Mr. Johnny was informed of the contents of the report 1104 to insert the date made, made, made by reading the re report of the interview to him. But Mr. Johnny agreed to its contents. Mr. Johnny's contact information. All right, statements of witnesses to ensure the FRA complies with the public law of the prohibition it prohibits any officials from disclosing the identity of the railroad employees who have reported the rail railroad safety violation without their written consent of the FRA statements of witnesses used to see the blank of the form that at the end of the chapter of the statement of the witness will validate that the individual has acknowledged that the information he or she has provided with the inspector looks likely to become the information. The statement of the witness also has a potential pre jur Pre perjury, the individual signing for the statement of the witness, perhaps holding them accountable for any false information provided to the FRI that signed the statement of the witness. Checklist for the statement of the witness. The statement of the witness are not required to be a vertiment. Well, the inspector should be captured the information but closely, per styling the language used by the person aiming interview, but it is not, it does not necessarily have to be documented word for word. Preparing the report member of the should be clear to the reader, which requires the proper sentence structure to make sure all the pertinent information is included in the narrative statement of the witness, e.g., dates, Train identification numbers, symbols, time, titles, to location, car numbers, names, clarification, jargon, and slang. Ensure the accuracy of the information regarding the dates and the train, symbols, titles, and equipment, and or slang. Statement of the witness must contain the time and the date, full name, the title, mailing, the address of the person interviewed so that they may be contacted by the FRA if required. Response to the statement of, of witnesses. Inspectors should always be provided with the railroad with any opportunity to respond with the statement of witness. Always include the response of the violation report. If the statement of the witness is in the actuation, an accusation, it will be likely needs necessary to provide the FRA office with the chief counsel for the railroad individual response to the acquisition incident. Do not primarily provide a written witness report without the railroad individuals involved providing with their side of the incident. This can be reported in the interview any other statement of the witness. Inspectors notice the FRA office the chief counsel has found the inspectors note that an audited team close out the documents can be extremely useful when reviewing settling violations. Often these documented details, inspector investigation findings provide additional insight into the violation. However, these documents should not be attached to the violation reports as evidence rather the document should be uploaded and attached to the FRA's copy of the violation reports only. 
on the job training. The railroad, um, the FRA Railroad Safety Technical Training Standard Division (TTSD) is charged with developing standard operational practice of on the job training manual. The standard found that the manual required the current inspector to observe the newly hired operational practice. Inspector performing the on-the-job ta task required the record record these tasks. The completed the newly hired and newly hired inspector must provide must then provide validation of those completed tasks in the ta technical training standard division um, so that they can be recorded. The on-the-job training requires newly hired inspector. The inspector provided with the training to follow the task conditions of the standards of the operation and training on-the-job training manual. The duties, tasks, and conditions standards identified by the on-the-job training manual should be strictly valid regarding the training of the newly hired operational inspector. The duly identified by the on-the-job manual also provides the training inspector with the specific minimum number of the demonstrations that newly hired operational practice inspectors will require prior to the attempting to perform the duty of their own without the aid of an inspector when demonstrating the duty, newly hired oper operational practice inspectors, the on the job training, newly hired operating property pr pr practice inspectors should, um, whether the state of the federal will not be allowed to perform any of the inspection of their own without the first time completing with the on job training, with the on the job training program has been completed. Newly hired inspector will provide a formal memo from the respective regional administrator. Newly hired operational practice inspector under the specific conditions can be authorized to perform inspection of their own proper prior to completing with the on job training. The inspection will require the instruction for the regional operational specialist job with the on-job training scheduling in, in addition with the completed task regarding the inspection authorized to perform on the due their own must record record is completed with the FRA operational headquarters the staff and the newly hired inspectors are required to provide with the te training techni technique sta standards validation um, for the each of the tasks completed with the new addition the new hired inspection required to contact the TTDS or the uh, with the technical training standard division Validation form for each of the tasks completed in addition with the new hired inspectors required to contact the training technique training training technique standard at least once a week, regardless if any of the tasks are completed on the job until the on job is completed. This will also include the reviewing of the newly hired inspectors records on file to ensure the accuracy and consistently um, the inspector provided with the field training over the on the job and the, the inspector provided with the newly hired on the operating job practice inspector training must provide with the guns necessary as required in the operational job on the job training manual. This includes adhering to the condition each of the toes duty of the prior to requiring the new hired inspector to perform the task of the standardized noting in each task. Providing presentation of the union meetings, the FRA will track data regarding the agency's operational practice inspectors attending the railroad union meetings. Operational practice inspectors should file a representation form uh, similar to the sample provided with the next page to provide the completed for the form of the FRA regional headquarters. FRA operational inspectors should not normally complete any inspection and for report the attending of any of the union meeting for attending any union meeting inspection reports regarding attending the union meeting should be cleared through the regional operational specialist prior to providing the railroad a copy of the inspection report. This is a Federal Railroad Administration training presentation report. And this is blank. And data, ele data files, electronic violation packages, the FRA migration toward the use of the electronic violation, violation package. Please reference for the FRA general manual for further guidance. This page is left blank, and a Federal Railroad Statement of the Witness, which I'll 